Hey everybody, it's Dr. Doni. Now for this week's tip of the week, I wanted to talk about something that has come up multiple times in conversation this week. If you are someone with children at home, um, because if you live in Sudbury right now, obviously the schools are closed, so everybody's at home doing online learning. So this is something that has come up over and over, um, and I really wanted to share this message. Now before I even start, this is not a message that's meant to create more stress for you. I totally get this is a tough time figuring out the online learning, trying to do your work while you're watching your kids, I get it. But this tip will actually help you with um, your children and their energy and their attitudes and all of that, okay? So hear me out. If you think about how the school structure is set up when they're actually at school, it's set up for them to get movement in their day. Especially if younger kids, they get to go outside for recess. Um, maybe this is a pre-COVID thing, but between classes, they would walk throughout the school. Um, so even if your kids had to go to their um, music class, they might go to a different class, so they would be walking across the school. They would go to the gym for gym class. They would walk across the school. So their day was set up with breaks and movement in it. But now what's happening, that kids are at home, if their class is in front of a computer, they're not moving as much. So I would encourage you to take the time to teach your children the value of movement breaks and actually like when they would have recess or when, you know, on their lunchtime, get them outside because the extra movement is gonna help their focus, it's gonna help their energy, it's gonna help really their attitude, it's gonna give them a boost of energy and a boost of happiness when they're running around and going outside. If you got older kids, go for a walk. Um, so this is worth your time um, to get your kids to do this because it's gonna give you a better outcome at the end of the day. And not only for them, but for you as well. Um, if you can get everybody moving a little bit more, um, it's just gonna be better for the whole family. So I encourage you to uh, try and instill this value in your kids and for everybody's sanity right now <laughs> to try and do this, get moving when they would normally be moving, moving in their day. So I hope that's helpful. Please share this with anyone you know who might be struggling with some of these things and encourage them to find times in their day to get moving. And as always, reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day and happy homeschooling, everyone. Take care. Bye.